Okay, so many of you may have a uh, ski bag or a roller ski bag. And so the dilemma for me was, um, you know, obviously skis come with these automatically deploying brakes. So uh, these brakes also tend to be uh, kind of pointy. And uh, because of that, you can, but I don't think you really want to have it in your bag jostling around and at the mercy of the airlines and baggage handlers. You know, rest in there, deployed. Not only does it take up additional space, but, you know, it's putting pressure on, on the bag liner. So what I came up with was a way to uh, basically hold down or lock down the brake in the undeployed position. I, I found, and I don't know where I found this, but it was a uh, Velcro, I guess a tie down strap. And it was originally one inch, one inch wide and I thought, well, rather than throwing it away, let me see if I can repurpose this. I ended up cutting it more or less right down the middle into a half inch. Uh, so I've got a very long, uh, skinny Velcro strap. Just You just need one. And uh, I will go ahead and apply pressure to the uh, foot pad to retract the brake as hard as I can. It usually helps if you use your your knee to free your hands. And so what I will do then is place a strap under uh, one of the brakes and then I'll put it over the, um, the part where you press down on your ski pole basically to make it deploy or release, I should say. And then basically, come back up because it is a Velcro strap and you basically just strap it. And it looks kind of like that when it's done, nice and tidy. And as you can see, the brakes are nowhere near what would be the surface of the bag. And a uh, really clean presentation and because it's Velcro, that'll definitely hold and it has held for me easily over a, a flight to um, the ski destination. And so that was the one method I used to uh, keep the brakes locked. A second method of doing this that I devised, um, if you happen to have a ski carrier um, and can remove, which you usually can, the, the uh, ends, the carrying ends of the ski carrier, uh, here's what I did to um, use those to tie down your ski brakes. Now every one of these carriers is different. This is the Volk one. And it just so happens the Volk one has a, a button down cinch for, I presume the ski poles, I don't know. But this is actually, I found to be kind of handy. And then again, we wanna to press the brake. All right, so we want actually to use the Velcro part to immobilize one brake arm first. Do that first. There we go. So now one arm is up with the other ski loop. Hopefully you can snap that button, the ski pole part button down. And then you know kind of how much distance or tension you need and you can finish off the, the main Velcro end. And then you have it really locked down nicely. And yeah, that's not coming loose. Mm -hmm.